I'm Larry Anglesano, Aviation Consumer Magazine. Unless you perform your own maintenance, you probably don't think much about the inlet air filter that's installed on the engine. But I think air filters are important enough to at least know the type that's being used and that it's being serviced properly. Now, in the world of certified air filters, there are only three to choose from. There's the Donaldson, the Bracket, and the Challenger that uses a K&N oiled insert. Let's look at all three and see how they compare. We sampled one of each. These are approved replacements for Cessna part number 12009 used on a Cessna 172 to look at design, build quality, and each manufacturer's performance claims. We didn't perform lab testing, but instead we collected manufacturer's performance data based on its claim lab testing. We also did some basic experimenting of our own and talked with maintenance shops, aircraft owners, and engine shops. Now, none of the filters evaluated here fall under the paper filter AD because technically none of them use paper media, although Donaldson's instructions for continued airworthiness is in line with the AD, recommending that it's replaced at 500 flight hours. The bracket filter is a dual-stage throwaway foam element that fits into an aluminum frame with a stainless steel screen. The filter assembly is sealed to the air box with a gasket while a removable grill fits over the foam element. The oiled saturated element is required to be replaced yearly. And it's dirt cheap. We purchased a replacement foam filter for a Bonanza at under 10 bucks. Aside from getting your hands gooped up with sticky oil, replacement is painless and straightforward. Donaldson says that it's more filtering media and less frame area, plus deeper filter pleats and the evenly distributed size and shape of the fiber that contributes to better airflow with its filter. Plus there's no layer of oil to restrict the airflow. Now the filter can be cleaned either by compressed air when there's dust on it or by washing it with a solution of water and general purpose detergent when it gets real dirty. The Donaldson filter sells for about $140 for a Cessna 172 application. Now Challenger Aviation makes its own filter frame, but the filter is provided by K&N. It's the oiled filter media and anyone that's familiar with high performance engines will recognize the K&N name and its high flow air filters and air intake systems. The filter is made of four to six layers of cotton gauze sandwiched between two epoxy coated aluminum wire screens. The cotton is treated with oil, causing tackiness throughout the cotton's microscopic strands. Now, k &N claims that the nature of the cotton allows high volumes of airflow and when combined with the tackiness of the oil barrier, creates a more effective filtering meter than the others. Now, it does, according to k &N, achieve an overall filtration efficiency in a range of 96 to 98 percent. That's based on ISO 5011 testing procedures. Now, of course, there are other factors that can deteriorate the filtering efficiency, particularly if the oil is washed off, and that can be affected by flight into rain, for example. That k &N element can be oiled and cleaned, and in fact, it has to be cleaned and re-oiled annually or every 100 hours. But you also want to keep in mind that that's going to be good for probably an hour's worth of shop time. It's a tedious effort. The Challenger CP1172 series filter for a 172 is a whopping 219 bucks. in addition to the time-consuming effort it's going to cost to service it. All three of the filters are claimed to be well within the industry standard SAE J726 air filter test, which uses a 0 to 5 micron test dust as a benchmark. Now, it's also said that ingested contaminants of 10 to 20 microns are responsible for the most damage. Now, with any air filter, the operative term is delta P loss. That's the atmospheric pressure drop across the air filter when the engine is producing power. So as a paper filter becomes clogged, the pressure inside the filter drops while the atmospheric air pressure outside the filter remains the same. Now this pressure drop isn't as critical in a turbocharged engine and even for a normally aspirated engine that's flying at a low enough altitude where the throttle setting is anything less than full. But for a normally aspirated engine flying at a higher altitude with a wide open throttle, delta P can be a significant issue. Now, Donaldson Aviation provided us lab testing that showed a significant difference in pressure loss when it tested its filter against the bracket foam filter. Incidentally, that pressure loss was about the same compared to the Challenger's K&N. So the real question is, which one of these filters is the best? And I'm not sure there's a clear winner. I think you need to look at it from both a maintenance and a operational standpoint. From a maintenance standpoint, the bracket clearly wins. Every year, take it off, put another one in. For most models, it's under 20 bucks. 
I also think the bracket has got the edge when it comes to filtering. It's sticky enough to catch just about any amount of dirt and dust you might fly through, and if you operate in a dirty, dusty area, you probably should consider the bracket. If performance is your only consideration, for some people it is, we think the Challenger with the K&N insert may be worth considering. It's probably going to cost you over 200 bucks. Now for best overall performance, I give the Donaldson the edge. For a Cessna 172, it isn't exactly cheap at about 150 bucks, but it isn't overly expensive either. I think it has good filtering characteristics, it's got good airflow, and it's easy to maintain. For more on air filters, you can read the August 2014 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.